Hey, what is up guys? My name is Abby and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry for not posting this past few weeks because I'm so busy with schoolwork and other stuff. So yeah, by the way, today we are going to make a piggy mat. So this is Bachi. I will show you. It's kind of like a tutorial video. Uh, I'll show you how I make this uh, piggy mask and this one. So yeah, this is Rush and I'm going to show you how I make the, this piggy mask. Actually, I'm not the only one that created this one. Uh, uh, Dbaji is the one that I created and the other one is from Bunit. And she's not here with me today but uh, you can see her uh, as the video so she is the bonit in bonit abby cover so yeah by the way if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button the notification bell and the like button if you like this video so let's start here are the materials that we are going to use newspaper balloons paper tapes scissors acrylic paint floor, another floor, balloon pump, and warm water. You also need a cardboard, glue gun, and a glue stick. These are the steps in making piggy mess. First, we are going to pump the balloon. Make sure that the size of the balloon is same with the size of your head. Next step is the making of mache paste. Mix the warm water with the floor. Make sure to put the right amount of water to get the desired consistency. It should be not too thick but not too watery too. Steer until there's no lump left. Next, cut the newspaper into strips. Ask for assistance when using sharp objects. Cut paper strips as many as you can. Put a cover in your table because this really mess a lot. We use a container to hold the balloon because we don't have someone to hold the balloon for us. Stir once again the mache paste. Dip the paper strips in our mache paste. Remove the excess paste before putting it in the balloon. Just repeat the process until you cover the whole balloon. I wasn't able to film when we finished covering the balloon with it because my phone storage was full. Cover the whole balloon with at least 2 to 3 layers. Put it outside and let it dry for 2 days. Once dry, we are now going to pop the balloon inside and the paper mache should stay in its shape. Let us now cut a hole at the bottom part so that you can shoot your head inside of this. I'm 
also going to cut a seam at the back so that I can wear it easier. Gently brush to remove dirt. Then put a white paint as a base so that we can design it easier later. After painting it, let it dry for about 10 minutes, then start designing it. I'm going to draw Budge's facial features first before painting it. But I just realized that you should measure first where the eye should be placed before drawing his face so that you won't make a mistake in drawing his facial features in right angle later. I am now going to cut his eyes hole. Please ask for assistance when using sharp objects. I am now going to paint his face. For me, this is the most relaxing part when making this mask. I really like painting even though I'm not really good at it. Make sure that the paint or the color is even. I am now going to make his ears using this cardboard. I tried using paper tapes in combining his ear into his head but it's not enough so I'm going to use a glue gun and a glue stick. Thank you. 
I am now going to finish painting his face. I wasn't able to film Bonit when she's making rush because we only have one camera and the space is not enough for us to fit in one video so yeah and this is now our finished product that is all for today guys i know i have a lot of mistakes while making this Higgy mask, but I think it's not that bad for a first timer. If you also want to try this one, you can make a video or you can film yourself doing it, then you can share it to me so that I can watch it too. Also, a big thanks to Just Facito. I inspired this video to their uh, piggy tutorial. They are way, way better than me. So if you want to see their creation, you can. Check the link at the description box and of course don't forget to subscribe to them and hit the like button for their videos. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I also hope that you've learned something from my mistake and from this tutorial. So see you soon!